Richard Corbett, Labour MEP for Yorkshire and the Humber. Three power stations in Yorkshire have been signalled as amongst the dirtiest in Europe, according to this report. What's your reaction? Well, this amply justifies the huge investment that the EU is bringing to clean coal technology. The power stations in question are, of course, coal-fired power stations. Those are, in the world always, the most polluting form. But if we can crack the challenge of making coal cleaner, and this carbon capture technology is a huge step forward in that respect, then we will do a lot both to protect the environment and to give a future to coal. And of course, as, as, as you indicated, uh, the EU's planning to fund a huge investment in CCS at, for, around the Drax power station. But where would that leave the other power stations? Aren't they going to, at very least, need to upgrade their facilities to, to, to meet the standards that we're going to see over the next few years? Well, if this pilot project at Drax works, of course, it can be a model for other power stations as well, other coal-fired power stations. That's the whole point of it, to, to test this technology, to show and demonstrate that it can work and to make a success of it. And that will in due course help all of them. And uh, the report, this report signals uh, problems that coal power stations cause for both the environment and human health. What does that signal, what does this uh, report mark, do you think, uh, that perhaps things do need to, to change? Well, they underline very clearly why things need to change, the amount of pollution emitted from these power stations. And in the case of one of them, of course, right next to the junction of the A1M and the M62, two huge arterial roads in the UK also emitting um, CO2 in, in one of the biggest black spots in Europe for pollution, it shows why we need to act and that's why this money is welcome, why this investment from the EU in clean coal technology is so important. Is coal um, power still the answer? I guess that's the, 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 the question. Should we be looking at alternatives? This report says that on average the efficiency of these power stations is only running, they're only running at around 36%. Are they the, the best method for the future? We can't afford to be dependent on only one form of energy, be it gas, especially perhaps gas coming from Russia, be it nuclear, be it all the different forms of energy. If you put all your eggs in one basket, you're in trouble. So coal still has a future, but we've got to make it clean coal. Isn't the fact that at the moment we're getting rather over-reliant on coal. You mentioned, of course, gas prices have gone up a great deal because of problems in places like Russia and the Ukraine. Um, don't we need to perhaps be looking at other alternatives apart from these traditional fossil fuels? Well, I think we are. If you look at the, um, the investment in renewable energies and not just wind energy, but the huge breakthrough that's coming about in solar energy, um, all these forms are, are vitally important to diversify your sources of energy. Um, there's also uh, wind, um, sorry, wave and tidal energy as possibilities in parts of the UK. So the important thing is to get an energy mix that gives you diverse sources, that gives you competition, and it is as clean as possible. It, just to sum up really, it may not have cut, it's come as a big surprise that uh, these power stations are amongst the dirtiest, but none the least does it signal uh, that uh, perhaps it's, it's time to, to look at a, a different mix, a different way of, of, of finding, uh, finding sources of energy. Well, you're right that it's no surprise. Everybody knows that coal-fired power stations, uh, old coal-fired power stations especially, are among the, the most polluting. And that's precisely why, I come back to this, this investment going into carbon capture and storage to make coal clean is precisely what we need. And it's a, it's a welcome investment by the European Union in Yorkshire.